Hey guys, it's X and Shadow, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last part, uh, we did glitz pit -y stuff that I don't exactly remember at the moment. And in this part, we're going to be doing more glitz pit -y stuff that'll probably be more remembered than before. And oh god fucking damn it, I hate one of these. Uh, basically, Mario has to sit there and do nothing for the entire battle. You can't attack at all. Uh, you can use him as a meat shield, but I'm always confused as to whether or not you're allowed to use items at all, or just not use attacking items, or do special moves count? I'm not really sure. So, just to be safe, I usually just have Mario defend whenever I get this, uh, one. You can also get one for your partner, too, which I think means that they just can't do attacking abilities, because I'm sh I know that Tattle doesn't count for that. So yeah, uh, now we're going to fight Crawdaddy, a.k.a. a uh, recolored version of Gus from uh, Roadport. You know, the, every every RPG always has to have a recolored uh, boss every time. It's it's practically a rule. So anyway, um, uh, it's the same principles apply for when you were fighting Gus. You know, don't jump on him. That's generally a bad idea. He's got um, uh, the same uh, HP as Gus, but he's got a lot more H... Uh, he's got a lot more attack power. So, um, yeah, you're gonna want to look out for that. Um, yeah, see, look, that hurts a lot. Uh, uh, five more attack... Four more attacks, actually, and I'll be dead. So, um, I usually... I think I'm really, really uh, thinking about what I'm allowed to do or not with Mario. So, eventually, I just decide stick with the... Um, defend strategy, and maybe I'll get an extra turn out of that by the end. But I figured Koops would probably be the best um, choice for this battle, because Flurry and Goombella, even though they can do... Flurry, Goombella, and Leon, actually, even though they can do more damage, you know, that spike pointing up makes it so that you can't really do a whole lot with that. Um, uh, you can Super Guard, and that doesn't count, because it's technically not an attack, it's a defensive action. So, uh, I hope you're good at, good at the Super Guard if you're, if you're stuck with a shitty, um, uh, requirement like me. Um, they get harder and harder as you go up, but, uh, eventually when you get towards the top, they spiral back around to being easy. I swear when you're in, like, the top two or three. I know, um, it, uh, you get easier stuff than before that. Uh, for whenever you're fighting the champion, you're always given the, um, uh, whenever you fight the champion, you're always given the use one special move, um, uh, uh, requirement. Every single time. I know that for a fact, so... Um, I, I'm not sure if it's programmed a specific way otherwise, or if it's just random. Um, you'd have to tell me, you'd have to look into the coding yourself. I generally don't have a problem, uh, with, uh, getting, with the requirements, though. As you can see here, I took out, uh, Darkcraw relatively easily. And he gave us 10 XP, or er, star points, sorry. Uh, I've been playing some other RPGs recently, so, eh, yeah. Yeah, we won! We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! We did it, Mario! Wow! Yes, Koops. Yes, we did. Yatta. You know, I'm not usually one for gratuitous Japanese. Never mind, forget I said that. So yeah, now our ranking's up to four. Sweet, we're almost in the top three. We're like, almost a winner. A winner is me. Almost. Sorta. Ooh, a new email. Find the ex-parasites. Huh. So anyway, yeah, uh, now we've got to uh, go to the telephone booth outside. Um, it's, it, um, you can go to it before this point, but it's generally not really worth seeing. But wait, hold on. What's he doing here? Gonzalez! Good timing, you pudgy little punk. Uncle Rockhawk's got some advice for you. If you keep standing leading the stoplight for me, you're going to enter a world of horror. Quit making such a splash if you value your, value your puny life. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Threaten the rock! Hmm... He seems like a very pleasant guy, don't you think? So yeah, um, kind of suspicious, I think. You know, that rock hot guy wearing a fake crystal star in his belt. We'll have to keep our eye on him. So anyway, yeah, let's go back up to the telephone booth. As I was saying, um, uh, if... Dip, 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 uh, lost my train of thought. Shit. Oh, yeah, as I was saying, you can visit the telephone booth before this point, but, you know, it... It doesn't really do anything. It's just sort of there. 
So yeah, uh, if you go over to the left, you'll see it pretty quickly. Uh, there's a star piece behind the actual phone, and then there's a storage key right here. But you can also talk on the phone, you can talk to characters you've meet, uh, met in the game, like frankly, we talked to Punio, you can talk to Luigi. Um, some of this is uh, funny too. Um, the local time is now snack time? Yeah, so you can talk to a bunch of people here, I'm not sure how many random messages there are, but you know, it's relatively funny. Go to the storage room next to Grubba's office. So yeah, uh, now we gotta backtrack all the way back to Grubba's office. Thankfully the backtracking here isn't as bad as the next chapter. I I'm sorry, I just blew a little fuse there. Calming down. Not that big of a deal, because it's only like three screens. Not that bad, actually. Have I mentioned that I really like the track that plays after you join the Major League? It's called Mystery in the Glitz Pit. I really like it. Very mysterious and catchy and cool and awesome. So yeah, now that we have the key, we can break into the storage room. So you're telling me that you have no idea who got inside. What do we pay you for? I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Lean. I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find nothing. <laughs> Fine, leave the rest of this matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this or I'll have your job. You, Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. Well, gee, that's the last time I ever walk in the hallway in my workplace. The nerve. So, yeah, huh. I wonder why they wanted to keep us out of the storage room. Oh, look who it is! Oh, mm-mm-mm. We meet again, you husky mustached hunk, you. Are you a friend of Gonzalez? I don't know, he hung out with crooks, and you look like one. Security was talking about noises in here. Did you make noise while you stole stuff? Oh, please, no one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. It's quite obvious that someone else must have been monkeying about in here. Well, whatever, lady. But you are a thief, right? Hush. All you need to know is I've taken what I needed, and now I'll be on my way. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you like. Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> and now we must part again, my sweet mustache man. Ugh, fanfiction.net. Is that what it's called, a kiss? I've heard about those things. I'm jealous. Only you get them. I almost forgot my seat. This arena holds many secrets, you know. You should be very careful lest you end up like those poor souls upstairs. And with that goodbye, my delectable cheese of cheese, we shall... Uh, da, 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 da. She said goodbye. Well, she took off, huh? What was that kiss like? I gotta get me one of those. But hey, what do you think about she meant about somebody being upstairs, huh? Find the staircase switch to reach the attic from Mega Man X. Square staircase quit. Step, dip, dip, dip. I can't talk today even more than usual. Hmm. So anyway, uh, this uh, tripped me up the first time I played. But what you got to do is you have to use Flurry to blow away um, the covering over these uh, blocks. Over there's a charge P badge. Not that big of a deal. But you use Flurry in order to solve this puzzle. It took me uh, a while in order to um, uh, figure that one out. I think I had to use, uh, Goombella's tattle ability to give me a hint here the first time I played. Not too bad, uh, not too big of a deal, but, you know, a little tricky, because it's not something that you traditionally, uh, blow with Flurry, so I can understand if you were stuck at that point. And we've got a Shine Sprite here. There's no puzzle, it's just sort of blatantly given to us. Odd, but I'm grateful, at least. And, ooh, there's a big one here. You just gotta spin your stick right round, baby, right round. And then you can uh, go down that hole slash uh, get a HP plus badge. Sweet. So, yeah, let's go check that out. Um, I was checking over to the right here, but I forgot about the uh, that there was a locked door. So, can't go in there yet. So, yeah, now we're in the air duct. Because, of course, as we all know, nobody ever keeps track of their air duct ever. Huh, looks like somebody's talking down there. So you didn't find or hide or hair of nobody in the storage room, that's what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Grubba, it appeared to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely just a rat or something. Nice touch, referencing Miss Mouse. Well, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing we'd be missing too much anyway. Thanks for staying on top of this, Jolene. Hey, by the way, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba. And so, I deleted his spot on the roster per regulations. The Glitz Pit no longer has any connection to KP Pete, a.k.a. King K. Yeah, that's where um, that's where you find out that his name is actually KP Pete. Uh, I kind of um, dropped the ball there, but it's not really that big of a deal. 
I doubt that, sir, but I can't understand the, um, the disappearances. Well, for the time being, tell the other fellas that King K headed on home for a spell. If word gets out about missing fighters, it sure ain't gonna be good for business. No siree. Nasty rumors have a way of sending folks running for the hills, know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubba. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a dang fine manager, but you just home disappear sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world do you go, darling? Uh, th that that's... Mr. Grubba, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy. Didn't mean to pry now. How about this, then? Heard of the Crystal Star? Uh, uh, n no, I've never heard of such a thing, Mr. Grubba. Okie dokie, well, I appreciate your time, Miss Jolene. You go run along now, you hear? Uh, both of them seem even more suspicious than usual. That wild child Gonzalez is just about the only draw I got round here. Whoa, Gonzalez. Whoa, did you hear that? Fighters are going missing, dude. That ain't cool. Was that guy talking about the King K, the minor leaguer? I thought he retired. What in the hay? Dang, ceiling spooking me. Hey, somebody up there. Oh, Nelly. Just a little burping beetle. Here I am thinking someone's up there peeping. I gotta relax. Take some yoga classes or something. Yep. Well, back to the ring. Huh. You know, with the amount of burping that's been going on, you think this is a Nintendo Pre Sun playthrough. Whoa! Whoa, man! We dodged a bullet there! Hey, but did you hear all that guy blabbering about the Crystal Star? That Jelena lady acted pretty guilty when she let that one slip out. Well, whatever. For now, we'd better bail before somebody finds us up here. Yes, we probably should. Through the duct! So yeah, now we're back in the, um, where's this place? So we can't open that locked door just yet. So yeah, so, since we've unlocked more mystery, we might as well just uh, have one more match before we call it a day. So let's see who we're up against next. And it is, drumroll, 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 ranked three in the glitch pit, Hammer, Bama, and Flair. Yeah, Hammer Brothers. Ah, uh, again, no jumping. Well, actually, seeing as these got the next guys that we're going to be fighting, all have um, a point of defense. I probably really wasn't going to be using my jump much anyway, but still, kind of annoying. Because you know, I I don't like having um, uh, uh, making me do something a specific amount of times is one thing, but uh, cutting off a, an entire range of attacks that I can potentially do really bugs me. You know, I like being, I like having variety in my moves. I mean, I appreciate the challenge, definitely, but still. So anyway, yeah, we're up against Hammer Brothers. Kind of early in the game, too. But, I mean, again, we're fighting mini-bosses, so uh, not that big of a deal. I mean, I understand where the challenge is coming from. My Grandpappy's Hammer's gonna strike you down, man. Here it comes. Get yourselves ready to battle! So yeah, no jumping, huh? So anyway, yeah, um, Hammer Brothers, uh, Hammer Brother will throw hammers at you, obviously. Um, you know, he's pretty much the straight man of this group. You know, he'll throw hammers, he'll throw lots of hammers when his HP is down low. Um, the Fire Brothers can burn you. Burning is kind of similar to poison in that, um, it, uh, It'll do damage to you over an extended period of time, but thankfully, unlike Poison, it tends to go away pretty quickly, so it's not that big of a deal. The Boomerang Brother is pretty much the biggest threat because his, his attacks will uh, will hit you twice. See, um, it, um, the uh, Boomerang hits you one time and then hits you back the other time. If you don't, uh, if you, it can do a max of four damage to both party members. So he's pretty much the uh, biggest threat on the field at this point. But because I can't jump, I gotta hit the uh, Hammer and Fire Brother first, so yeah. Thankfully, each one can be taken out in two turns with the right planning, so uh, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, once you're done tattling, uh, you can take them down in one uh, turn if you use both characters, so you know. Um, you're generally going to be fine facing these guys, you know, it's not like you've got a big threat here. Um, another thing too, uh, since I've got the quick change badge, I can switch out partners um, on a dime. Uh, here I'm swapping out uh, Goombella for Coop, Coops there, and since Goombella's uh, switched out, she's the only character who has a status affliction. 
uh, on her. So, you know, Koops isn't going to be burned if I switch him back out, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm, if you bring Goombella back out at a later point, she'll still have that burn, uh, status on her. But she's not gonna, um, uh, but she can stay in the party as long as she, she can stay in sort of, like, the background, and she won't get hurt. Only, she'll only get hurt by the burn if she's active on the field, if that makes any sense. I'm, I have a tendency to ramble, if you haven't noticed. So yeah, just that boomerang brother left. Ow, that hurt. See, look, see how I'm, I'm already at six uh, health left. That's mostly the hammer, that boomerang brother's fault. But yeah, one more hammer, and then he will be D E A D gone. Woo! And they give a nice uh, five to six uh, uh, star points a pop. So you know, twenty-one star points. That's pretty good. That's almost as much as uh, some other enemies that we'll be fighting up later that are actually much harder. So you know, these guys, no big deal. But will we find out what's behind the door and where all of the missing uh, fighters went? Who? What happened to the original champion? Uh, what is up with Grubba and Jolene anyway? Tune in next time to find out. I'm X and Shadow, and I'll see you guys after this email. This is your last warning. Stop snooping around about that crystal star. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate as the others who have gone missing. Oh goody, this guy again. He seems to know a lot about this stuff. Those missing fighters, the crystal star. You know, if we find this guy, we'll have all the answers. But who could it be? Who could it be? Um, who could it be indeed? Find out next time on Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I'm X and Shadow. I'll see you guys later.